Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Cropper here. Finished a successful second uh, radio appearance with Michael Bardnark on Lighting the Fires of Liberty. Today is Thursday. Uh, a little bit of Mozart in the background, if you don't mind. Uh, so, I want to say a couple things about it. It's a fun show. I enjoyed being on there. I uh, have to handle a few things deftly, but uh, if, for example, it's the Genesis Communications Network. So uh, They invite me on to talk about Ayn Rand, and atheism is a bit of a touchy subject. It didn't come up, but I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to restrict myself if it did. And as evidence for that fact, I didn't restrict myself when a caller asked, uh, why did Ayn Rand disapprove of libertarians? And she dis disapproved of libertarians because they were so unprincipled they would accept anybody on the basic floating abstraction of freedom. So in Ayn Rand's judgment, would it not be unreasonable then for a man to run for president under the party of unprincipled people? The caller mentioned that Ayn Rand said she would rather vote for a Marxist than a libertarian. I don't know if she went that far. I've never heard or read that myself. I only have the caller as the source for that, but I would believe that she said that. Um, uh, even though I myself said I would vote for Ron Paul uh, or might not vote for him because it's not really important because if I did vote for him it would only be a symbolic, it's not important. So um, all I can say is uh, it was fun, the interview was great, maybe I'll be on there again, maybe it'll lead to other things. It's, uh, I mentioned heroin should be legal and uh, he said Yes, it should. And then I said, except in the case of someone driving their car around uh, when they're high. And he said they should even be allowed to do that. And then when you arrest them, you just arrest them for the crime. Maybe you add a little bit for the intoxication bit, but it should be legal to drive around that way. What if you don't hit someone? So you only get punished if you hit someone. So I'm just going to stretch it a little bit and say, we're going to have officers out patrolling and we'll punish you if we even stop you. Not only will you get an extra punishment for for intoxicating yourself and operating one of you, that's an extra punishment. But we're going to seek you out. We don't seek out normal citizens. Cop stops a normal citizen, they give their license, their registration, their proof of insurance. Citizen goes. The cops don't do anything to normal citizens, but citizens who are intoxicated, the cops do other things too, such as arrest. I think that's appropriate because they are putting other people's lives in danger. You can't allow somebody to walk around and shoot a pistol and if he happens to hit someone then we charge him with murder, but he's free to shoot his pistol. You can't allow that. He's free to shoot his pistol like you're free to drive your car under certain conditions where other people's rights to life, liberty, and property are respected. Because what's the primary? The primary is not freedom. It's uh, life, liberty, and property. So, uh, uh, other than that small digression, we had uh, we see eye to eye very much. I think he's a very intelligent man, Mr. Pardner. And uh, uh, I still don't know which election he ran, and I'm going to have to look into it now. Though I feel a bit uneducated to not know about that, having appeared on his radio show twice. How rude of me! Uh, but it went well. Uh, hopefully, we'll appear there again perhaps other places. Now, I co-hosted his radio show a couple of times, but co-host is, means that uh, they call me on the phone and I talk to them. And that I do that voluntarily. So I appreciate your contributions and Happy New Year. Thank you for your support so far.